I just realized basically this whole video is just going to be your butt in the camera the whole time. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. You knew that though, right? You want to watch us go fishing today? Because that's what we're doing. Got a couple of yokels with me. You can ignore them. Pay attention to me. You may notice we are in the floater boater today. We're on the Battenkill River in Montana. Famous river full of trout. Maybe a flannel mouth sucker if we're lucky. We're still kind of pre-runoff here. There are blueing olives hatching. We're fishing streamers, nymphs, and we're rigging up a dry fly now. We're still within sight of the boat ramp and we've already caught two fish. Let me clarify, Scott has caught two fish. I'll show you those fish right now. Bring it in, I gotta maneuver the boat. Oh yeah, great fish, Scott. All right! And the fly Sweet. popped out. Oh, nice. Here, nice. hold him in the water. I want to eddy out. And hold the net. Who's on? Who's on again? Oh, oh, right to me. Oh, what'd you get? Rainbow trout. What are you fishing? Woolly bugger. It's a good fly. All right, let's hit it. So you guys are probably gonna see me from the rower's seat mostly today. These guys are gonna be fishing. So the pressure is on them, not me. I can take the easy way out and say, I didn't catch any fish because I didn't try. So you'll get to listen to me and how I guide, which is mostly yelling and being really bossy. Why didn't you catch one of those fish, Corey? Okay, forget about fishing. Just look ahead in this eddy and look for the Look for the heads. They'll be, I see them, they're on the slow side of the seam. I'll try to not run them over. I'm pretty good at running them over. This is the kind of stuff where a drift boat would be much nicer. I like to say this boat's fast when you want it to be slow and slow when you want it to be fast. But she could carry a lot of beer. All right, this next eddy's better. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of stay off of it and then we'll come, we'll circle back into it. But you might be able to pick one off when we go by. They've got to be rising here. I know it in my bones. Yep, there's one going. See him just below the real thick patch. Put it into the slow water five feet. Oh, set, set, set. Oh, they're rising right under your rod tip. Look, look in front of the boat. Nice, got a stick, Scott? Can we see it? Is that native? I'm pretty sure it is. It's a big one, that's for sure. All right, did I put him down? Nope, he's there, 12 o'clock, right on the seam. Do you have an eat? At the end of your fly line, one just rose. They're all in the slow part or right on the seam. They're not in the fast water. Where'd they go? <laughs> if you look on the right bank, how the water's flowing back towards us, there's a few fish rising pretty close to the bank. There, I just saw one at three o'clock. See the yellow sticks that are floating? Six feet up from the yellow sticks. See, there's two or three fish there. All right, Corey, stop casting. Hold your fly, make sure your fly is good. I want you to look up here to the right off the bank and see these fish. And then I just want, there, did you see them? Oh, don't do anything yet. I just want you to see the fish and then we will go get them. There you go, two of them just rose at the same time. There, did you see that one? Do not cast. All right, that one, did you see that one? And that one, that one, that one, all right. Go to those fish. You can make that cast. Four feet short, go again. Good, leave it. What happened to your big dry fly? There, see that one? No, it's way too far, w way too far. Set, set, try again. Do you still have your fly? Do I need to get closer? Yeah, I'd pick it up and go for the ones that are really eating. <laughs> make a false cast. Yeah, you're behind him. If we don't see one in 10 seconds, we're gone. Okay, we're gone. There were 20 fish rising 15 feet away from you. So, you know, I'm not saying I would have caught them all, but <laughs> I'm not a gentle guide. I didn't outright say that you suck. I just like imply it, you know, all over the place. Heavy implication. Oh, I thought we were going to get one. We'll have more chances very similar to that. Yeah, there you go. Ahead of the boat. Future water. I will fish at some point in this video. All right, look for heads, look for heads, look for heads. I don't see any. All right, well, we got more spots where they'll be. I was wrong, I can admit it. These little small eddies will probably have some rising fish. I guarantee! I don't guarantee. I should never guarantee anything in fishing, except a good time. So I, uh, I lost my GoPro in the river the other day. So we are floating the and I had my GoPro on a clip, clipped to my PFD and it fell off like right in this like rapidy thing like just gone he's like dude it's right here i'm like no way dude that thing is gone <laughs> like it's just gone so we looked around for it for a while didn't find it no surprise i had given up on it in like three seconds you know i'm like well it's it's gone 
you know, I'm over it. Ahead of the boat, Corey. So we, put, we shove off and I immediately lost my fly in a rock. And there was a little eddy there. Oh, there's a rise at a, right where your rod was pointing. Point your rod, point your rod. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Yep, there and four feet offshore. Just look in there, just look in that area. Not bad, further in there. He's just a one-off riser, so now we're behind him now. So there was a little eddy there where I broke off and he pulled over and he looks down in the water and he goes, what's that? And I'm like, no way. And he gets out of the boat and reaches in there and pulls out the damn GoPro. <laughs> it was it was amazing. We were probably like 25 feet downstream from where it went in the water. And we would have never pulled over there if I hadn't lost that fly. Yeah, so now I've got the, the GoPro PFD on today. <laughs> nice. Oh, no, oh, that was a fish, huh? That was a fish. Oh, nice. Corey's on the dry fly. All right. Oh, what happened? Hey, he got wrapped up. I think it's just wrapped up. He's wrapped up, but we caught him fair on a dry. On the hopper, dude. Nice. It is, what's today, late April? Yeah, that's the first fish on a hopper I've seen this year. I think that's the first hopper we fished this year. So much for matching the hatch. For more information, check out my video on ma not matching the hatch, right here. Hey, you wanna be on YouTube? All right, good fish, let him go. He, he just wants to stay in the net. Flip it over. Sometimes you gotta make him do it. Good job. You know who picked out that fly? Me. <laughs> Tangle time. Let's catch you up. Dry fly action seems to be over. Happened a little earlier than we thought it would. So we're going to use this tangle opportunity to maybe change rigs. Scott's still fishing a streamer, getting some action. We still have a lot of river to go. go Let's do it. Game on. Camera's rolling. Do something cool. I go right side, Corey. Oh, I'm sorry. Other right. <laughs> You're like, what are you talking about? Why didn't you catch him? See that bobber. Waiting for it to bob. Get him. A lot less pushy at low water. Been plenty of times where I'm pulling hard to keep off this wall. All right, you boys got your PFDs all zipped up? Everything strapped in? It's a good wave. Whee! Nice. Oh, wow, look at that rock that's not usually there. And just right by it. Here comes the fun part. What's up with this cloud, man? I didn't sign up for no clouds today. Okay, we're pulled over for a bit at a nymphy hole. We started off hot, but it has been a little while since we've caught a fish. You guys wanna know what I'm fishing with today? Oh boy. I am nymphing with a bobber. My fly rod is a nine foot five weight Sage DS. The DS is a new prototype series. Should be available in about three years. My reel is a Cortland rim fly. I put a sticker for my favorite rap group on the back. The line is just something generic and the wind wasn't blowing all day until I picked up this fishing rod. I mean pole. My flies are a Payette's rubber leg and a Copper John, I think. I don't know. Scott tied these flies on for me. I, I think that's what it is. And I'm tangled. Scott's on. Let's check it out. Oh, Scott's off. He's on. He's on. Nice rainbow. Heck yeah. Nice. Go your own nymphing. <laughs> I'm going to go home and order skinny jeans and some pointy <laughs> leather shoes. Nice Rambo. Good job, Scott. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, Mr. Rambo. Oh, he got the camera wet. Yay. Okay, my turn. Let's talk about boat snacks for a minute. I fully intend to do a whole video on boat snacks, but let me just mention what we have today. We don't have any fried chicken today, but that's okay. We've got some other good stuff. I have backpack burrito, leftover breakfast burrito from this morning. Backpack burrito is like old chili. It just gets better with a little age. And we also got some ribs. There's caddis bumping around here. That's a rock we don't want to hit. That one has a name, you know what it is? Taco Rock. I caught a 19 inch cutthroat here one time. He's probably still there. I don't know, I think with the floating line you wanna keep the longer leader. It's just gotta be thick at the end. 4X ain't gonna do it. You're gonna get on the oars right after this rapid. Riser. Switching it up, I'm gonna fish a little bit. Fishing from the front of my own boat. Crazy. What is this, a six weight? I'm fishing Scott's rod. Not a Scott rod, it's Scott's rod. It's a Soggy, S-A-G-E. We have a 10 foot sink tip. He had zero X tippet on, so I put on a smaller fly. I've got a Conehead Zidler, which I think 
our boy Tom Rosenbauer just did a fly tying demonstration on, on the old face page. Take me to the fish. Why do I have flies tangled up in my fly line? Scott's taking a break eating ribs and I stole his fish pole. Those ribs were fantastic. It's good water. I hope I catch one. You can back row a little bit. That's right, I boss from the front of the boat too. <laughs> I'm still the captain. So demanding. Back off just a little bit. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. I love this spot so much. Yeah, slow us down pretty good if you don't mind. It's just a real fishy bank. You're good, you don't have to like stop the boat. I just don't wanna fly through it. Cause it's extra good. Oh, that was a flash. Had some action. I didn't feel it. Ugh. Yeah, well, come on, man. It's a good bank. Oh, I thought we were gonna be into the blue wings down here. That was hours ago. It was a bit of caddis, but nothing's rising now. And we got some good dry fly country coming up. So I'll rise down there. There it goes again. And my flies fouled. That's because it's rabbit, not my bad casting. Woo, I just saw a big fish rise in that eddy over there. See where that white scuzzy stuff is on the shoreline? Right there. I'll make a cast over there. It's gonna blow, oh, there he goes again. And, oh, he might not be as big as I thought, but he is there and he is rising. Let's see if, oh, there's multiple fishes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh yeah, oh man, oh, I knew he would go. There's more than one. Keep me there, oh, there, there, oh man. Oh, that was a big fish, dude. Oh, I. Oh, the second one was not small. Did you see that flash? 27, yeah, it's probably about 27 pounds. I zuddled them though, I did zuddle them. And I'm fouled, because it's rabbit, not bad casting. Well, I had a pretty good chance to catch a fish there. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, eat it! Ah, oh, he chased it all the way out there. All right, break time. That was exciting, I just moved three fish. What's happening? I have a fish who might be false hooked, or he might be very large. I think it's a lively stick. Ooh, man. Oh, he's in the dorsal. He's really angry though. It's been a while since we've seen a fish, so we'll still show you this fish. Oh, it is a brown trout. When you're nymphing and you set the hook too slow, I'm not saying anything about your skills, Scott. Hey, Nothing at all. I'm not saying anything about your skills. But actually, I just got a comment on my last video about why we foul hook fish. It's because we're bad. <laughs> if you set the hook too slow, that's what happens. Yeah. Bye fish, we'll try to treat you with more respect Sorry next time. Sorry about that pal. Wait for me. Scott had a fish on for like two minutes and as soon as I show up with the net, it got off. Pretty typical stuff. We have a fish encounter. Uh, pop out of him too. Yeah. It's a fish. What'd you catch it on Scott? I caught it on this little rhycophila. Rhycophila is a caddis fly. Just switched it to that, second cast, or they ate it. What's his name? His name is Brown. <laughs> Wait, his name's Butter. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Butter. Why'd you have to name him Butter? Oh. Scott's on again. I've been filming a video for you guys about fishing with friends, which is what we're doing right now. And Scott's catching all the fish. Ah, uh, and he let it go. What a dip! All right, we had a bit of a pit stop. I filmed a video for you. I'll leave a link right here. I changed my fly to something big and stupid. This is a fly that I tie. The hooks are obnoxiously large, but this thing looks awesome in the water. It catches fish, cause I tied it. Look at that thing in the water. Look at that, look at that, look at that. This rod is slightly undergunned with this fly, yeah, but I'll make it work. Those little streamers are just weird, you know? I only throw the meat, duh. Oh, that is a nice shelf, come on. That fly looks so good in the water. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh my gosh, that, oh, that was a big one. Yeah. yeah, I never felt it, but I saw it. Probably 49 pounds. I think it was an Atlantic salmon. In front of the rock, I love in front of the rock. I'm fouled. Oh, it gets so deep. It's because it weighs a thousand pounds. Oh yeah, oh my God, did you see him? Uh -oh. oh my God, I, he, I don't know. If you can get your fly into the shadow, that's where the fish are. Oh, that's a good look for you. All right, I'm in the back of the boat now, giving commentary on the fishing. Dude, look at that fly in the water. It is amazing. Fly rescue mission. I'm doing it. Oh, it's a six weight. I thought it was a five weight. I knew that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, looks like I might catch a fish today. Oh, he's angry. He's angry. He's all jumpy. 
Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Release on three. All right, we gotta end this at some point. I always like to put the camera down and just do a little fishing before I'm done. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Thanks for stopping by and watching us do a little fishing. Hopefully you had a good time. We definitely did. We'll do it again soon. And I also post a new video every Monday. Don't forget to check out hugeflyfisherman.com and buy some gear to support the channel. Like and subscribe is always great. I'll see you next time. Stay huge. Am I supposed to be liking all of your videos? It helps.